The New York Knicks may have a Julius Randle issue. Julius Randle has been, to say the least, pretty bad to start this season. Um, his field goal percentage has been low. His three-point percentage has been low. Look, sometimes players go through these struggles throughout the season. Sometimes they go through these, you know, ups and downs, highs and lows throughout the throughout the NBA season. But the thing about Julius Randle is that, you know, we can pinpoint these struggles even back to the playoffs. Now, if you want to say that's fair or not, because Julius Randle had an ankle injury in the playoffs, obviously he got the ankle surgery this summer. Tom Thibodeau actually hinted that the ankle may be hampering Julius Randle to perform the best of his abilities this season, which is why his numbers are down. If you want to believe that, you can believe that. I mean, it's a very valid argument. This summer was probably not a regular summer for Julius Randle in terms of, you know, getting in the gym and putting up shots and trying to become the best player he can be. But it's the lack of effort plays that, you know, piss me off and a lot of Knicks fans off that, you know, it's just unacceptable. And Julius Randle's field goals by game, 5 of 20, 3 of 15, 5 of 14, 4 of 15, and four of 10. He is shooting in the 20s from two point land this season. That is last amongst forwards in the NBA. Right now, to start the season, he is shooting 25% from three, 64% from the free throw line, which is absolutely terrible. That just cannot happen. The New York Knicks as a whole, it's not just Julius Randle, the New York Knicks as a whole, for years now, especially this year, they've been a poor free throw shooting team. But 64% from the free throw line, they're literally free throws. They call them free throws for a reason. Is that unacceptable? The rebounding numbers are there. You know, he's passing it. If you want to say he's passing it more, he's being more passive to start the season. The shot just hasn't been there this season. 27% from the field, 25% from three. This guy's a two-time All-NBA player. And it's it's why the New York Knicks are struggling right now. It's a main reason why the New York Knicks are struggling right now. There's there's no sugarcoating it. Look, this has been a small, very small sample size, but to say the least, there are issues to start this season for Julius Randle. And you know, it's not just Julius Randle. There are you know issues throughout the Knicks team as well. Like for instance, R.J. Barrett hasn't played in the last two games. Jalen Brunson before he dropped 45 on the freaking Bucks. He's been inefficient. I mean, first the Bucks, he was simply unguardable, unstoppable. Quinton Grimes is still trying to find his footing in the starting lineup. Back to Julius Randle, it, the noise is getting louder from us Knicks fans, from me, from the media as well. Kendrick Perkins had this to say about Julius Randle during the halftime show. Oh, trying to pass the ball to one another. That's the first thing. It's too much individual basketball, and it starts with Julius Randle. Not only should the Knicks fans be frustrated the way that he plays the game, but if I'm on his team, I'm frustrated. There's no way in hell that they're in the film room watching their games and noticing that he is ball hogging. Like, he has to be unselfish, get off the ball, trust his teammates, and just play team basketball. And you're seeing all the tweets come in on Twitter as well. Julius Randle, the New York Knicks can't win with Julius Randle, this and that. So all the heat is coming for Julius Randle, and for good reason. He's not playing well, and I'll get on here. If he's playing amazing, I'll give him his props. I'll give him his credit, but when he's not playing well, I told you guys I'll come on here, and I'll call it out, and he's simply not playing well. Look, does the ankle have something to do with it? I would say it does, kind of, but it's the effort plays. It's these plays right here. It's the effort plays from Julius Randle, the defensive unawareness from Julius Randle that we saw in the playoffs, too, versus Miami Heat. Remember, there was many occasions, many possessions from Julius Randle that he would just take defensive possessions off. And this season, to start the season, we're seeing the same thing over and over again. Again, one thing we definitely have to hope for is that Julius Randle turns this around. We want, we need him to turn this around. I want him personally to turn this around because the New York Knicks will not be a contending team if Julius Randle continues to play like this. Jalen Brunson can play out of his mind like he did versus the Milwaukee Bucks, 45 points, and we still lost the game. So it hasn't been a great season for the New York Knicks to start this year. And hey, hopefully Julius Randle can snap out of it. It hasn't been pretty, man. Let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts about this whole situation, man? What do you want to see happen? Do you want the New York Knicks to ship off Julius Randle? Do you think they can't win? They can never win a championship with Julius Randle? Look, man, he, he hasn't been playing well, and that's the bottom line. And all we can do now is hope and pray that he turns us around because at the end of the day, he is on our team, and they won't do well unless Julius Randle is playing at an all-star level. That's for damn sure. So... 
Let me know what you guys think. I'm Anthony from Knicks Nation. Just wanted to come on here and let you guys know my thoughts about the whole Julius Randle situation. I'll catch you out in the next video. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. As always, it's Let's Go Knicks. Peace.